The next morning, I set out on my own to pick up some pastries from this nearby coffee shop, getting some croissant for Mila and I. Got the goods. <laughs> got some bubble tea. I don't know why, but I had such an intense craving for it on this day. This is my first bubble tea that I've ever bought myself. Aww. Oh. Andiamo. We decided we wanted to return to Parc Jourdan and sit down in a mosquito-less area to read and tan. I started Just Kids by Patti Smith, which took me a while to get into, but turned out to be my favorite book I read in the summer. The ending, oh my god, I have never cried so much reading a book. <laughs> Taking in some sun rays, we grabbed sandwiches from Paul we ate while wandering around. Vanille pecan, Mila, c'est quoi? C'est la passion. Miam. Et puis? Oh my god. Mm. Delish. Miam. our nighttime ritual of pizza capri slices and reality TV. Chill outfit today. The other pair of shorts I got at the vintage shop and Sophie Antonia Scott, or Sophie Antonia Scott, I forget. Okay, I just need some blush because I look like a zombie. Oh, I just need the matcha. No, she needs it. Why do I literally look like a zombie? Okay, love. Yesterday was a very chill day. We started our day really late, like we just took it really easy in the morning. Went back to Park Jordan. Started Just Kids by Patti Smith. So far so good. I really like her writing. Easy to read. Funky at the same time. I don't know. It's good. And then we found a cool bookstore. I love spending time in bookstores and looking through books. It makes me want to read so badly and I want to buy every single book. Except that whenever I do go and splurge on books and like buy multiple books, I never read them all. So it's like I need to concentrate on one book at a time. So I didn't get any. But when I'm back in Montreal, I think I want to read a couple French books to get back into French because I feel like I don't speak in French with most of my friends and I'm losing my good French. Yeah, we hung out in Cour Mirabeau and got ice cream and I got pizza and spent all night there, literally hours sitting there talking. It was really nice. Today we have our Atelier Cézanne appointment, so we're gonna go do that and stop by and get some matcha and a little breakfast first and the rest of the day, we don't know what we're doing yet. On this hot day, we walked to Yasumi Matcha first thing in the morning for breakfast. We got matcha lattes and I tried their matcha cookie. It was gooey and the white chocolate chips were amazing, but I could have done without the cranberries to be honest. Eh, uh, bang. Good. And cranberries. Energized, we walked up a steep hill to explore l'atelier de Paul Cézanne. <laughs> He loved to paint fruit because he found flowers unreliable as they tend to wilt quite fast. His studio was also adorned with human skulls, something he collected to underline the ephemeral quality of living. We also discovered he wanted to die while painting and ultimately passed away in his studio just as he wished to do. Promène dans les bois. Mila est habillée pour le bois, hein? Cheers! Loved that. She said, Les fleurs, j'y ai renoncé, elles se fanent tout de suite. Les fruits sont plus fidèles, ils aiment qu'on en fasse leur portrait. And that's why he painted so many fruits. It was just so pretty with the big windows in his garden. For lunch, we grabbed some banh mi, I got the veggie one, which didn't taste like much, whereas Mila got beef and really enjoyed it. Stare to 
got banh mi for lunch. It didn't really taste like anything, but it was really satisfying. Now we're just gonna go read. No, I got to my water. Still being fair. Nathalie by Cezanne. It's really pretty. I want a house like that with big windows. I need a lot of light just for my sanity. <laughs> Or it's not pretty. Oh, also, I finished my year of rest and relaxation. It was kind of like a long book. It felt a bit repetitive at times because it is her sleeping for a year. And so sometimes I was kind of bored reading it. It's once you finish it that it's like, whoa. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. I just know that when I read the last sentence, I was like, oh my God. It really does put things in perspective about how to live your life. I think you would really like it. She decides to take a year off from oh, her that's life. What I mean. I don't want to think that that's like a possibility. It's not. Ugh, I don't know how to explain it. I wish I could like tell you the ending. Ugh, I really don't know. I need to like read people's opinions online because I can't like figure out how I feel about it. I'm excited to dive into my new book. This is going to be fun too because it's a biography slash autobiography. So it's like more of a story. So yeah. We hung out in Park Jordan once more, but we're quickly driven back to our Airbnb by the heat. This heat is like, it's giving things a nice little fun. I just want a nap, but like at the same time I don't. I think I might get fruit or ice cream because like I'm I'm dying. I need refreshment now. We're gonna go out, go get some dinner. I don't know what we're gonna get yet. But we're gonna walk on this strip that has a couple places and we'll figure it out. I'm like feeling so low energy right now. And I'm wearing my Paris thrifted top. Cute. Let's go. For dinner, we picked up five euro pasta dishes from Piacere. Their special was this almond pesto tomato cream spaghetti with mozzarella. It was absolutely insane how good this was. We devoured our boxes by the Palais de Justice while the sun set. Mmm, yummy. Molto buono. ice cream at the same spot for dessert we enjoyed while chatting on a bench in Nicole Mirabu. Just got So now we're getting ice cream. Mm, you know the drill. day we took a day trip to Marseille to get a little change of scenery as soon as we debarked from the train we stopped at Le Bar à Pain for lunch where I got a tasteless vegan sandwich while Mila got a nice slice of pizza we wandered around the De Plein area where we went into a few thrift stores and picked out some goodies. Mila got a super cool skirt at Milanin Vintage. Going at it till I'm on, put that nani in a hole, I'm beating it down. I'm back in that bag again. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, say less. I'm back in that bag again. Yeah, yeah, oh, say less. I'm back in that. Yeah, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm back in that. Hey, where you going? Hey, hey, back in that bag again. Now bring me around your friends. You know that I'm bagging them. This area had graffitis everywhere, and the people were so laid back. It was definitely a very different vibe from northern France. Pull up, word, let's make it a gathering. They love that baby. Nah, I'm matic now, but she loving the splash again. I just be cashing in her buns, just like a wedding. I'm crashing in hundreds on hundreds. I'm moving and grooving. She wanna cut up, I'ma slash again. Buckets on buckets. I'm switching edition. Back in my bag, going back again. I feel like Aladdin. Yeah, I'm on a carpet, flying through orbits, ain't doing. No talking, why? Uh, they on my body as soon as I walk in. 
bitches be stalking. Off, yeah. They love in a drip, they think. We then walked to the old port where there were a bunch of small booths by the water until we reached Vanille Noir, this ice cream spot where I tried an amaretto scoop. This was the most delicious flavor. Almond is actually just my favorite. Yeah, I got that shit going. Then she took that thing off and bring it around. Going at it till the morning. It was such a hot day that the ice cream alone could not cool us down nearly as much as was necessary. So we made a much needed stop by Starbucks to grab some iced matchas and get our internal temperatures down. Yeah, I'm back in that. Is this embarrassing? Kind of. Oh, attends, regarde, tu sais, on se rafraîchit. Putain, il fait chaud comme jamais. Je pourrais manger 60 glaces. And I would still be dying. We're making our way towards the train station. I think we're just too hot and we've had a couple shitty exchanges. Men here are, well, not to generalize, but. We got yelled at by creepy man a lot in the city and just had enough. So we headed home early to enjoy our last night in X. Oh, l'air, ça fait du bien. Pas chaud. C'est d'hier qu'on allait à Marseille parce qu'on voulait boire une autre ville. Cassis, c'était trop compliqué. Explorer des nouveaux amis. Ah, mon Dieu. J'étais genre, ça part déjà. On est sur le bon train. Ah, ouais. Ouais, c'est bien. Je dois dire. Mère, mère crème glacée du voyage. Non, je suis à Amorado. again for dinner because it was so good and indulged in our nightly ritual for the last time. Next video is the Paris Chronicles. This was my absolute favorite part of our trip, so stay tuned. Our last night in Aix-en-Provence, headed to Paris tomorrow. Our last stop. We're staying for a while though, so it's okay. Good night.